look what came in the post <laughs> oh my goodness i received my copy of the great british sewing bee sustainable style book it was written by caroline and alex who own selkie patterns and i'm really excited to share my review of this book with you anyway let's go straight into the review <laughs> states in this book it's mainly targeted towards confident home sewers and the key aim behind the book is to encourage us to be a bit more sustainable in our home sewing. The book comes along with 20 full-size sewing patterns and 27 sewing projects which is you know that's a meaty amount of um, projects for a person to get through. The book has come with the assumption that people who purchase the book already have um, basic sewing skills and techniques which is the reason why in the book it doesn't go into great depth when it comes to sewing skills and techniques and basic knowledge about sewing. <music> highlights when it comes to this new book has got to be the fact that it comes with patterns for men and women and it does actually include some um, sewing patterns from season five which was the one that I was in and obviously it's gonna got, have um, patterns from season six so I am aware that um, a very high percentage of my audience are based outside the UK people from all over the world watch my channel really really pleased about it thank you very much but um, if you are outside of the UK the show eventually would come on your screens but for people in the UK the show will be on our screens on the 22nd of April which I'm really excited about this book is very much available on Amazon and I will be leaving a link to purchase this book if you do decide to purchase the book I'll leave the link in the come in the description section below so that you can grab yourself a copy of the book if you do decide that you want to get one for yourself right, so this book comes along with 20 full-size sewing patterns and they're all like layered on top of each other you would have to do a bit of tracing however it's stated that people who purchase the book can download a zero sized pattern for themselves or you can download PDF size patterns that you can print at home and assemble by yourself. There are 20 patterns in the book, but there are 27 sewing projects in the book, which is really good. Some of the projects come as an adaptation of the sewing patterns in the book. For example, the flared, the flared trousers for men in the book also have lines, guidelines showing you what to do if you decide to actually make it, um, make your trousers straight leg trousers, which is an extra bonus. Right, so this book comes along with some classic and timeless designs. It's got outerwear, it's got casual wear, it's got more dressier kind of um, garments. There's actually um, a sleepwear as well. And the, the, the sleepwear in the book comes as a two-piece set. However, there are instructions on how to convert it into a romper. I like that. If you are a bit new to sewing, don't worry because the ladies also talk about how to select fabrics, which is really good. There is a, a meaty section in the book which goes through different ways of um, selecting fabric, like making choices when it comes to fabrics for the different the different projects in the book, and it also goes into depth about like different types of fibers, types of fabrics, the more sustainable options, and all of that, which kind of lives to the expectation of the book. So you know, it's more about sustainability. <music> There is a section in this book that talks about a mending of older garments to give, you know, to give them a bit of a new life. Hide imperfections in our older garments, which you might find useful. So I already own the first three books in the Great British Sewing Bee series. I don't have the fourth one. However, from what I already know about these other books, I know that what sets this book apart from the others is the sustainability angle of the book so it goes through ways of repurposing reusing your older textiles and there's a project in the book about how to use an old tablecloth to create a tablecloth dress there are a few similar designs in the book the first one is the pussy bow blouse in comparison to the pussy boy blouse that came in season two, I believe, I'm not sure, please correct me if I'm wrong, but the pussy boy blouse in this book is different to the one in this book because the, the pussy boy blouse in this book has a gathered panel at the back, so it's a bit like a yoke. Also, the sleeve gathers in the current book goes all, all around the sleeve cap, 
which is different to the way the design is in the older book. Also, in this book, there is an anorak which is slightly similar to the bomber jacket in the new book. So those are the two key things that I think are a bit similar, but you know, you do have a lot of designs in the new book which are, you know, a bit more fresh and trendy, current and, you know, out there on the high street. <laughs> I'll give you an example actually. The boiler suit is, you know, it's a bit out there. It's quite current, isn't it? So um, I think that's a plus. Also the maxi tiered dress, um, which has like tiered gathers, is quite, you know, trendy at the moment. And, you know, it's coming up to spring, summer. And I think it's, it fits in nicely with the times. So um, those two things, I think, you know, kind of set the book apart from the other books. Really, really important to point out that the other books have projects for children's clothes. However, this current one doesn't really have any projects for kids which is fine you know it's okay so if you do own the other books and you're thinking about buying this book it's fine you won't you just won't get any children's patterns in this book <laughs> it's really really difficult to choose so out of the four books that i already own um from the great british sewing bee i can't choose i really find i'm finding it really difficult to choose um but if i had to choose i might pick the most recent one and it's just mainly because of the sustainability angle that the book has got because I'm, I'm i'm looking at ways to make my sewing a bit more sustainable so i think that might be the reason why i would lean towards this one but it's just so hard to choose because the, the designs in all four books that i now own are very classic and uh, oh, it's hard i can't <laughs> This book has come with sewing patterns that go all the way up to size 22 for women. Um, I'm not very sure about, the, I'll, I would insert the sizing for the men's garments. It's really good because, you know, women come in a range of shapes and sizes and it's good to have a wide variety so everyone's included. Also, this new book comes along with line drawings, which some people prefer line drawings and looking at photographs of models wearing clothing also <laughs> i've just got so many points to share with you i know you won't mind because it's good to listen to these reviews before you actually um, spend your money to buy something new anyway the book also comes along with very detailed instructions and it comes with lots of diagrams illustrations of the different steps that's really helpful for visual learners there are transformation projects in the book. I'll give you an example. There is one in the book about transforming an old pair of jeans into a pinafore dress. There's another one on, I think I mentioned that earlier, transforming an old tablecloth into a dress. There's also a blouse project in the book that is a bit of a transformation project as well. It gives you lots and lots of ideas on how to transform old items of clothing into new ones. Oh, I must also mention, if you aren't too sure about how to go about natural dyes, there's a section in the book about dyeing your clothes. So naturally dyeing your clothes, which is really good. From the season that I was in, which is season five, there, well, from what I've seen so far, there might be another one, but there are four projects um, that come along with sewing patterns in this book. There's a pattern for the workers jacket, there's a pattern for the flared trousers, the wiggle dress and the pussy bow blouse and I, I'm really looking forward to making two projects in this book. The first one is the pussy bow blouse. I made that blouse on the show but I really wanted to make one for myself but obviously we weren't allowed to um, have the sewing patterns because it was um, Love Productions intellectual property. So I was so pleased to know that the design came along in the book. Also I like, I really really like the shape of the maxi dress in the book and I will be looking forward to making that one. I'm really curious to know which of the projects in this book would be um, <laughs> one of the challenges for the contestants on the new show. So I, I wonder I really really can't wait to watch the show and I can't wait to meet the new contestants and know about them on the TV and see all their different challenges and their projects let me know in the comment section 
Are you going to be watching the saying be? What are you looking forward to the most? And are you going to have a go at making any of the projects or challenges in the book? Let me know in the comments section and please give this video a like. Do subscribe to my channel, it really does help me and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. All the best, bye!